I was getting real tired of this cat. So your cat is biting you and you're really tired of it. And this is what you want to do. Hey, cat. Did you just throw my cat out the window? Eh, uh, no, I didn't. But is it dangerous? Should you allow your cat to bite you or should you avoid it at any cost? I am Dr. Ryan, a veterinarian and a veterinary behavior residency graduate. I'm gonna talk about the dangers of cat bites, even though it's actually not my profession and it's more the profession of a human medical doctor. As a veterinarian, I did have my fair share of cats that beat people, including myself. The quick answer to is it dangerous? The answer is yes. Cat's mouth is full of bacteria. Also, because they have needle-like teeth, they can introduce this bacteria and infection into the skin or even to deep layers, including the bones and the joints. There are some statistics that show that one in four people had to go to the hospital and receive medical attention. Who are you, you stupid cat? I even have some friends that are also veterinarians that got bitten by their patients and had to be hospitalized with IV fluids and IV antibiotics and it hurts. Let me tell you a story about my own experience. I was going to visit my brother and I saw his cat outside and I thought to myself, oh, it's going to be so cute if I pick up the cat and knock on the door holding the cat. As a side note, I actually gave this cat to my brother a few years before that and this cat even spent some time at my house before I brought it to my brother. Now the cat saw me, came running towards me with this chirping, happy kind of noise. And I said, oh, okay, I am out of the woods. Let's just pick him up. Big mistake. The second I was holding him, he bit my finger so hard and that wasn't enough. He was also scratching my hand with his back legs. Of course, I dropped him. Sadly, he latched onto my hand and didn't let go even when I wasn't holding him. It only took a few seconds, but it felt like forever. So instead of knocking on my brother's door, holding a cute kitty, I was knocking on the door, holding a bleeding hand. I also had to be treated with oral antibiotics because my finger got swollen to like five times its normal size. Most cat bites will be either on the hands or the legs. So we'll have the cat that bites you when you're walking around the house, so then it's going to be to the legs, or it's going to be the cat that bites your hand when you're trying to pick him up or when you're petting him. And although even a cat scratch can cause an infection that affects your lymph nodes, and if you have immune deficiency, then it might even cause big problems, the bites are the real health risk. If you were unfortunate enough to get bitten by a cat, then you should seek medical attention. So give your doctor a call or go to your doctors. And usually the sooner the better. In the meanwhile, you want to wash the wound as much as you can with water and soap. It's not gonna help prevent any deep tissue infection, but it will prevent the superficial infection. You can even use something like a neosporin ointment or any other antiseptic ointment that is over the counter and you have at home or any antiseptic soap like chlorexidine soap. Don't just randomly start taking antibiotics in case you do have something laying around in your house. Seriously, consult your doctor. But you're wondering how can you actually prevent the bites to begin with? Great question. That's in part two.